close your eyes and watch your breath. When we're meditating, we're not focusing on anything strange, something that's very near and should be familiar. But all too often, we're not really that much acquainted with our own breathing. We don't realize what benefits can come from just staying with the breath and getting to know it. So give it some attention. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. Each time it comes in, remind yourself you want to stay here with the breath. You don't want to go wandering off thinking about other things. Other thoughts come in, just let them go. You'll be right here with the breath. And try to breathe in a way that feels good for the body right now. This is one of the benefits of getting the mind and the body together at the breath. Because the body needs the mind to look after it, and the mind needs the body as its, as its foundation. And when they're separated and going their separate ways, then each is lacking something. The mind is lacking a home, the body is lacking somebody to look after. It's like a house where the owner doesn't live. Rain comes down, and even though the roof gives protection from the rain, the, the owner isn't in the house getting the protection. He's out there exposed. At the same time, ants and other things can start coming into the house, and there's nobody to chase them out. Things begin to rot, things begin to fall apart, and there's nobody to fix it. But if the owner's in the house, then when rain or snow or heat comes, then the house is there to give protection. And at the same time, the owner can see, okay, this needs fixing, there's something wrong with the pipes here, there's something wrong with the electricity there. The house benefits, the owner benefits. It's the same with the body and the mind. When you're looking after the body and you're sitting here breathing, you begin to realize there may be pains here and pains there. You try to breathe right through them, see to what extent the pain is caused by unnecessary tension you're holding in the body. And as the mind gets a more and more comfortable place to stay here, it gets a chance to rest. It doesn't have to be running around creating other worlds all the time. It can just stay right here. This is the advantage of gaining some harmony between the body and the mind, putting them into alignment. This is a good principle in all kinds of activities, like tomorrow it's going to be our Sankran. It requires people acting in harmony in order to make it all go well. If each person just goes off in his or her direction, okay, then you can do what you want, but the benefits are not going to be as much as they would if everybody acted together. It's like thread. You take individual threads and they, don't much, they can't accomplish much, but you weave them together and they can become a cloth. And the cloth can be used to do all kinds of things. You make canvas out of it, you can make clothing out of it. And they can carry things and carry a lot of weight that they couldn't manage otherwise. So it is the same when things work together, both inside and outside. You can accomplish things you wouldn't have been able to accomplish otherwise. When the body is strengthened by having the mind together, the mind is strengthened by being there with the body. You as an individual can accomplish a lot more things than you could otherwise. As a group, when we're in alignment together, we can accomplish a lot more than we could just on our own. So think of this principle of harmony, of working together, because that's how all the really big things in life get accomplished. <laughs>